The ENC 28J60 Ethernet module is a small circuit board that you can connect to your Arduino or Raspberry Pi. It acts as a bridge between your small controller and the Ethernet network. It contains a special chip called the ENC 28J60, which is designed to handle the communication between your device and the network. So, in this video, I will demonstrate how to create an Arduino web server using the ENC module. The entire process is simple and straightforward, so you should not encounter any difficulties. However, if you experience any issues, feel free to comment below to ask for assistance. Currently, Proteus offers two models of Ethernet cards, the Realtek RTL8019 and the Microchip ENC 28J60. In this video, I'll be sticking to the ENC Ethernet module I personally designed. You might be wondering about the difference between the Produce ENC 28J60 and mine, but truth be told, they're pretty much the same in terms of functionality. However, the one I crafted has some extra perks. It's got a sleeker look with enhanced graphics and a cleaner interface, which matches the hardware module's aesthetics. What's more, I've even added LEDs to the module, so you can easily see if the Ethernet port is active or linked up. Before building your circuit and starting the simulation, you need to set up some necessary components on your Windows system. Proteus recommends installing the WinPCAP library, but it is no longer actively maintained. Therefore, you should use NCAP instead. NCAP is a packet-sniffing library and driver for Windows operating systems. NCAP allows users to capture and analyze network traffic on Windows machines. You can download this package from the NCAP website, and the installation process is straightforward. After agreeing to their license agreement, it provides a one-click install. As you can see, I have already installed NCAP, but for demonstration purposes, I'm reinstalling it again. Suppose your PC doesn't have a network card, or if it does, it's already in use, or consider you are using a laptop that doesn't have an Ethernet connection. In this case, you can use a virtual network driver, which can provide you with a dummy network adapter. This allows you to easily simulate the ENC 28J60 Ethernet module in Proteus. There are multiple ways to obtain a virtual network adapter. If you're using VMware Workstation or VirtualBox software, you already have a virtual network adapter in your system, which you can utilize. As you can see, Ethernet 3 represents my default PC network card adapter, while Ethernet 5 and others are provided by VirtualBox and VMware Workstation software, respectively. Alternatively, if you're not using either of these, you can utilize the Microsoft KM Test Loopback Adapter, accessible through your computer management settings. Here is the installation method for the Microsoft Loopback Adapter. You can choose whichever method suits you best. In the Add Hardware Wizard, select Advanced, then choose Network Adapters. Next, select Microsoft as the manufacturer and then choose Microsoft KM Test Loopback Adapter as the model. Select Next to confirm the installation and then select Finish to complete the installation. After that, Microsoft KM Test Loopback Adapter will appear in Network Connections. The ENC Ethernet module is designed to interface directly with the serial peripheral interface port available on many microcontrollers. Therefore, we will use Arduino SPI pins to connect the ENC. The initial step involves the EtherCard library used for Ethernet communication with Arduino. EtherCard simplifies communication with the ENC module, aiding Arduino in connecting to Ethernet networks and performing tasks like data transfer or serving web pages. 
This Arduino code creates a simple web server and serves a static welcome page to any HTTP requests it receives. Let's understand the code and what each part of it does. These lines define the static IP address and gateway IP address for your Arduino board on the network. The gateway IP is the IP address of the adapter I'm using. In this case, I'm using the Microsoft Loopback adapter, so you can check the IP address of this adapter from the connection details window. Therefore, for the gateway IP address, use the IP address of the network adapter you want to use. For the Ethernet interface IP address, you can change the host ID to your own preference. This line defines the MAC address for your Arduino's Ethernet interface. MAC addresses are unique identifiers for network interfaces. This line defines a buffer of 700 bytes for Ethernet communication. The EtherCard library uses this buffer for handling Ethernet packets. This block defines a constant string welcome page that contains the HTML code for the welcome page. The PropMem keyword is used to store this string in program memory, saving RAM space on the Arduino. The setup function initializes the Ethernet connection using the ether.begin and ether.static setup functions. It specifies the buffer size, MAC address, and IP addresses for the Ethernet connection. The loop function continuously checks for incoming Ethernet packets using ether.packetloop and processes them with ether.packetreceive. If a packet is received, it prepares a response by copying the welcome page string to the Ethernet buffer and sends it as an HTTP response using ether.http server reply. Now compile the Arduino code and then copy the resulting hex file location. Paste it into the Arduino model in Proteus. In Proteus, open the Properties window of the ENC Ethernet module. You will find the field for the IP address. In this field, write the same IP address as your adapters. Now run the simulation and type the IP address into the browser, then press enter. Arduino will show the HTML web page. In the next part, we will send data from the Arduino pins to the web page using the EtherCard library and ENC Ethernet module. If you have any requests or suggestions, please leave a comment.